me, um, let me first just thank North Park, um, uh, John Bourne and his team, um, just completely professional, um, treated right. The host was fantastic. Um, I want to thank uh, my administrators who came along with us, um, who were uh, support us wholly. Um, and then I, I really want to thank my guys, because um, we didn't, we didn't play last year. I mean, we were playing uh, small-sided stuff. Well, we couldn't even do small-sided stuff when our opponents were playing games in the spring, and rightfully so. Carlton did it right. We did, we did it absolutely right um, in terms of the pandemic. But we had not played a game in almost 18 months, and this team made the NCAA tournament. I mean, we're not satisfied. It's really it stings completely to lose that game, um, and in a in a hard-fought game like that, but. Um, I'm just unbelievable grateful for the place I work and most importantly grateful for the guys who I get to coach every day. Um, that's the hardest thing about these is, is missing that. We're not going to be training on Monday. You know, that's the hard thing. And I, I want to say thanks to, to Chris and his team too, man. What, what competitors, what class act, um, really, really gifted players um, and uh, put us under in a ton. So just wanted to say that. And, and Coach, you uh – you know, this game was almost a microcosm of the season uh, in the sense of, you know, y y you you had a good start and then you kind of got, got kicked down and you lost those games in the middle of the season. Yeah. Um, but this team, I mean, you know, it, it got to two goals at some points, but oh, it always felt like it, it could have been a play here, a play there, and we're, we're tied up or even Carlton takes the lead. What is it about this team that kind of has that never-say-die attitude? It, it, it's just ingrained in Carlton kids. They're really ambitious. Um, these are these are some of the best and brightest, and they um, they're used to success. Uh, and there's there's just battlers on our team. It's just in the culture of the program. Um, we compete every day in practice, and um, that that translates into the games. Uh, and yeah, I, too bad the one to go three. Um, I couldn't tell from my angle was that saved off the line or was it. Uh, there was a cross in Marco had had her, and it looked like it was. It, it actually, it, was going it in. actually, it actually spun in and went. Uh, uh, are you talking about uh, Olson's second goal? Uh, no, our oh, okay. almost, oh, they're almost tying. Yeah. Come on, man! We're I think about oh, yeah. my team, baby. <laughs> you know, this I, is, think it, I, think <laughs> no, just, I think I think that was a save. I think that was a goalkeeper save. Okay, I, I, well, whatever I it was, so. I thought we yeah. had a, we had a chance. It was there. it was almost three three yeah, right no, there. Then it's yeah. yeah. all bets are off, and then we're we're trying to push forward, and and that's that's the game. It just. They're, they were going to be dangerous, and, and uh, um, we just had to risk it. So, but, man, what fun, what atmosphere. Um, but we're – I'm putting on a smiling face right now, but it's going to be deeply disappointing because uh, it's uh, – we, we thought we could, we could do a little damage. Uh, w one last question sure. I have for you, Coach. Uh, we were talking a little bit before you came up to the box about your league and how good the Mayak is in men's soccer. And – you guys lost uh, a, a St. Thomas program that was a national competitor. It's like you guys don't didn't miss a beat. And you, I, I you just got your your league is so deep and has so many quality teams in it. Yeah, no, and I do remind people. I think St. Thomas left because we beat them eleven times in a row. <laughs> um, but that was before John was there. You know, we 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 we'd given them some battles, and it, and um, it is. I I'm uh, unbelievably grateful too of of our competitors in our league. And, it, iron and sharpens iron. Yeah, that no, the way there's no it? easy games. I mean, we were losing to. Saint Scholastica three to one. We were losing to Hamlin two to nothing. There's there's just no easy games, and and that that's a credit to the the ambitious coaches in our league that are keeping an old guy like me, um, you know, excited. And this has got me, man. And we're I'm thinking about next year already, you know. So uh, yeah. Uh, and finally, we'll leave you on this one. Um, you know, you've coached 25 classes of seniors. Um, but there are some all-time greats in Carleton history in this class, and and I know you mentioned the guys, but specifically this senior class, and and you know I'm not going to pretend I know who's coming back and who isn't with with uh, you know the COVID year and yeah. everything, but um, but but for this senior class, w w what do they what do they mean to you, oh, especially going through you know the hard times that we talk yeah, about yeah. this season and COVID? That's a really great question. Thank you for asking <laughs> that because it. Um, it's the community that they build, uh, and um, they're like I said, they're they're successful athletes, 
but it's a community and they're disappointed we couldn't bring every kid here um, you know because they they know the 30th player on a roster is every bit as important as those guys who are all-time greats for us um, they leave that legacy of community um, that I uh, am really really proud of when we go on the road people are impressed with our guys they're just they're just really good people and now I'll, I'll take that but I'll also take the success on the field that they've had um, two runs to the NCAA tournament which is fantastic in a career at a place like ours and um, yeah I to talk individually about them is hard because I um, I want some of them to stay if they can you know we're on the term system so if you're listening dudes you know that I want you back <laughs> um, so uh, but yeah just a, a great group of young men they're gonna go on and do really really cool things so um, I, we'll see whether they come back. But the guys that definitely Tarek, Walt, who didn't didn't play much for us here, but he came back for a fifth year, um, scored on his first touch in, in the game against Lake Forest. Um, so uh, those guys are definitely gone. And then Henry, Charlie, Marco, man, just pillars of the program. Thank you very and much. Thank Coach. you, guys. Thank you, all of you, uh, and all the guys on the roster, too. Thank you, and best of luck to you in uh, the upcoming offseason and in the 22 22- 22 campaign. Yeah, no, really appreciate it. Great to meet you. Thanks for the time. Yeah.